Welcome to the City Current Show. I'm your host, Andrew Bartolotta. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference in our community and around the globe. And today we're honored to have Patty Gordon, the Executive Director of the Northwest Mississippi Community College Foundation. And the foundation is a beacon of hope transforming students' lives by breaking down financial barriers and enriching our communities throughout education. So join us as we discuss the foundation's mission, their upcoming Boots and Pearl soiree, and how they are shaping the future of education in our community. Patty, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Andrew. It is great to be here. Now, first, can you share with us really the mission of the Northwest Mississippi Community College Foundation? Yes, sir. Our vision here at Northwest is we transform students' lives, enrich our communities, and we strive for excellence in all of our academic programs and services. And that is a culmination of what uh, the foundation does, what we do here at Northwest. Share with others how that how those funds and scholarships help contribute to training and educating tomorrow's skilled workforce. Absolutely. So lots of different things uh, combined together and uh, that we do here in the foundation. One is we award scholarships and we have individual donor based scholarships that are uh, personally funded that we award to students. And as an example, we gave uh, 656 scholarships uh, for the 23-24 academic year in the amount of uh, 600 Hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars uh, for this year, and uh, through those scholarships, students are able to help pay for their tuition. Uh, textbooks are expensive; they have uh, you know extra expenses with that. Uh, in addition to um, college expenses that uh, you come in contact with. So a foundation scholarship can help offset all of those expenses. In addition to scholarships, uh, we are in a capital campaign. It's called Investing Today, Impacting Tomorrow Capital Campaign. It's the first ever capital campaign that uh, Northwest has done. And um, we have reached our $4.56 million goal in that campaign, but we're continuing to move forward in our phase two of the campaign. We have so many programs that um, this campaign is funding, and I'll share a couple of those with you now uh, because you mentioned uh, enriching our communities in ways that um, the this campaign can enrich our communities. As an example, the concourse in Batesville, that is a new campus for Northwest, and our flagship program there is the Diesel Academy, um, where we are training students to work on diesel engines. That is something that uh, is a great opportunity for students, as well as the the industry, because there's a shortage of diesel technicians uh, around in this area. So um, we have um, had that program now for two years, and it's going great. And students can complete that program in two years and really make a life-sustaining wage. So when you think of our vision of transforming students' lives and enriching our communities, that carries that forward because um, that allows those students to make a difference for their families uh, by giving them uh, the, the type of job that they need to uh, make a living for their family, and then also enriching the community in um, them being a vibrant part of the community and then helping the workforce because they're a, a trained uh, individual for that. Um, we have a groundbreaking, uh, or, or we have already broken ground at the DeSoto Center in South Haven, where we're building a new uh, ranger center there that will allow us to expand our registered nursing program. Uh, again, there's a shortage of nurses in uh, the industry, DeSoto County being one of the uh, fastest growing counties in Mississippi, um, and then the need for uh, trained and skilled nurses allowing us to uh, branch out there, as well as that center will also uh, have other 
allied health sciences in there, as well as a workforce training center where, uh, you know, the, the industries in DeSoto County um, are astronomical. They're, they're growing and they need skilled workforce. So part of that building will be for uh, training skilled workforce. Uh, I, I could go on and on, but those are a couple of things that our Investing Today, Impacting Tomorrow capital campaign is servicing. And then uh, I know that later on we will be getting into our uh, fundraising event um, for our Northwest Fund, and that that's our soiree. And, and so we, we build funds for um, the Northwest Fund that allows us to uh, be able to offer these stellar programs and, and be able to offer uh, excellence in our programs there. One other thing that our uh, office does here is we connect alumni back to the college. And Andrew, I was so thankful that our paths crossed and, and you're a, a great example of a Northwest alum. And so that's another thing that we do too, is uh, we're constantly uh, searching out, reaching out to uh, uh, Northwest alumni and getting them uh, connected back to the college. And it, it's something, a, a great thing to be a part of. It really is. And thank you for that because you do a stellar job, you and your team at making alums feel special and recognized um, because it is such a tremendous honor to come back to the college and see just the the work that's being done and the innovative programs taking place. And um, my sister currently is in Oxford at your Oxford campus with the uh, nursing program. And so it's cool to see just how special the college and its administrators, faculty, staff make the students feel in excelling, providing them a step to excel in their future. And so I want to commend you and your staff for that because it's it's so great and needed in our area. And so when you all see uh, a, a need for new nurses and you see a need for those in the automotive tech industry, you put resources and funds in to provide skilled workforce for them to uh, excel, but that also make great living wages after a two-year college degree. So uh, it's it's really cool. So you did mention your upcoming Northwest Soiree Boots and Pearls event. It's happening March 2nd, 2024. Let's talk about what we can expect at this event, um, where the funds go that you, uh, you raise at this event, and then I'll ask a few follow-up questions about the event as well. Our Northwest Soiree recognizes individuals who have created to the legacy of Northwest. And they are individuals. We, we have two awards that are alumni awards. One is called the Alumni Professional Achievement Award. And that is going to Michael Joe Cannon, who is owner of Cannon Motors. Uh, Michael Joe has been a great supporter of Northwest and he has contributed to the legacy of Northwest along with our uh, next award, which is called the Young Alumni Professional Achievement Award, and that is going to Jameson Rogers. Jameson is a baseball alumnus of Northwest. He is uh, originally from Batesville, Mississippi, and he is receiving the Young Alumni Professional Achievement Award. He is an up-and-coming country music singer, and he will, along with uh, some Nashville songwriters and singers, will be providing the entertainment for the soiree, and I'll tell you a little bit more about about that in just a moment. Two other awards that we give are the Outstanding Corporation Award, and that is going to the Reedy Acres Foundation. They are from Water Valley. That is a family foundation. Um, it is the Brownlow and Doris Crawford Family Foundation, great supporters of the capital campaign. They have been supporters of our scholarship endowment program for our students for many, many years. Uh, so we are excited to recognize Reedy Acres Foundation from Water Valley. Our final award is the Spirit of Northwest Award, and that is going to Jim Flanagan. Uh, Jim is the president and CEO of the DeSoto County Economic Development Council, and is just a proponent for Northwest. Um, he does a wonderful job with all of the industries uh, in DeSoto County, and uh, he is trying to, to bring in additional um, 
uh, industry to DeSoto County, where we're trying to also help with that skilled workforce for those industries. And uh, he has been a proponent for Northwest for many years, and we're excited to recognize Jim uh, at this event. So getting back to kind of the nutshell of the Northwest Foray, uh, we are able to offer two types of tickets for the soiree. And one is, if you would like to come to the social that we have, um, we have about an hour social where we have hors d'oeuvres and beverages and a solid auction, and you can come and mix and mingle with your friends. We do that. And then we go into, uh, this is all at the Handel Center for the Performing Arts. That's the new Performing Arts Center here on the Senatovia campus. And um, after the social, we go and have the award ceremony. And that's where we recognize the four individuals that um, have contributed to the legacy of Northwest. Then we will end the night with a writers, uh, a Nashville writers round with Jameson Rogers and friends. And a couple of the folks that will be there uh, with Jameson are Hunter Phelps and Brent Anderson. And they'll be uh, performing uh, songs recorded by like Florida Georgia Line, Jake Owen, uh, Chris Jason, Brad Paisley, Hardy. So those folks, so it'll be a great way to end the night um, with Jameson Rogers and friends. And as I was mentioning, you can purchase a $100 ticket for the soiree, which will allow you to do everything. But if you want to just come hear uh, the great music of Jameson Rogers and Friends, you can purchase a performance only ticket for $30. So you make it very affordable to give back to the community, but also enjoy a tremendous evening with some real change makers in our area. What I love, if you have not been to the Heindel Center for Performing Arts, you're really missing out. It's a short drive from the Memphis metro area uh, via 55. Just go south. You won't you won't miss it. Get off on the Senatobia exit. And you are transformed into this state-of-the-art performing arts center where uh, my wife and I were able to see Kristen Chenoweth perform there. You have Leanne Rhymes coming this next year. And so, and you also have so, so many other uh, great acts, uh, both from a theatrical performance standpoint, but also uh, musicians as well. And so it's open to the community. There are many ticket options uh, for the Heinel Center for the Performing Arts. So I hope you uh, all will check out that. But also for this soiree, a Nashville Songwriters Round is really cool. If you've never been a part of it, it's just the energy is electric. And then to know that you're giving back to the foundation, which ultimately helps students in our area thrive, like it's just a win-win. So I hope people will come out uh, March 2nd for that event. Uh, where can people go to purchase tickets for the Northwest Warrior? You purchase tickets by going to the Heindel Center website and it's heindelcenter.org. And that's H-E-I-N-D-L center.org. Fantastic. Now, uh, before we leave, talk about how individuals and organizations can contribute or get involved with the Northwest Foundation, whether they're an alum of Northwest or not, just a community partner that wants to give back uh, to education in our area. Thank you. Uh, they can do that. Let's just say you want to be a part of the soiree. That it's a that's a great way uh, to get introduced to uh, or get introduced back to uh, Northwest. And that is, we have sponsorships available for the North Northwest soiree, and uh, you can also see you can see that on the Northwest website, which is northwestms.edu/soiree. Uh, you can see uh, how to sponsor the event there. Contribute a side silent auction item. Part of the fundraising event is through a silent auction, and you may have uh, something that you would like to donate uh, for a silent auction item for this event. Uh, this is something that it, the event itself will be something to be um, 
a, a great part of and uh, have fun with while all the time, you know, contributing to the success of our students and the success of, uh, of our programs, uh, which in turn help uh, many of the communities that we serve. Also, uh, you know, alumni that want to get connected back to the office, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, let me give you my email address. It's pgordon, G-O-R-D-O-N, at northwestms.edu. I would love to hear from you, uh, our alumni, and uh, we can uh, keep you abreast of everything that's going on at Northwest. We send out an alumni e-newsletter uh, every quarter. And um, also, anytime that you would like to come back to campus, please get in touch with me. I'd love to take you on a tour. There are so many things going on in our area, and whether it's in Senatobia, whether it's at DeSoto County or down in Batesville, uh, I'd love to connect with you and, and show you around. Dr. Heindel, I mean, and the leadership at Northwest is just remarkable. And so knowing that you are with faculty and staff and leadership that want to support you and f help you thrive even past you graduating is uh, such a great thing to have, especially as you enter the workforce and beyond. Well, Patty, one more time, where can people go to uh, purchase tickets for the Northwest Soiree and get in touch with you? Okay. The Northwest Soiree tickets can be found at heindelcenter.org. You may call me at 662-560-1103, or you can email me at pgordon at northwestms.edu. And I do want to mention before we leave too, that the Northwest Soiree is presented by Mini Systems Incorporated out of Sardis. And they are a great company that has, this is their second year to uh, be our presenting sponsor of the Soiree. And we appreciate Mini Systems for uh, supporting this event and helping us get it off the ground. Patty, thank you so much for joining us today, sharing the inspiring work of the Northwest Mississippi Community College Foundation and your dedication to really transforming lives through education. Uh, thank you for coming on the show and let's come together and support this noble cause uh, happening March 2nd uh, at the Northwest Soiree Boots and Pearls event. I'm Andrew Bartolotta. Thank you so much for joining us today and to power the good. Higginbotham Insurance and Financial Services is proud to power the City Current Show. We're a people-first company that protects what matters most, the families, businesses, and trailblazers that keep our community going. As one of the nation's top independent insurance firms, Higginbotham is a single source solution for business insurance, employee benefits, HR services, and personal insurance that's customized for you. We're here to serve you, the people you care about, and your community. Call 866-377-1959 or visit Higginbotham.com.